welcome to the channel guys we're out in the garden we're gonna do some harvesting dehydrating and getting things put up so i've already harvested let's turn you around the cayennes that were red you want to wait till they get red and kind of wrinkly uh kind of like this one here i missed these are very small <laughs> compared to what they should be uh, i got a few pablo ancho peppers and we're going to dehydrate them all and what i'm going to do now and i got a lot of serranos but what i'm going to do right now is come over here and cut me some thyme because it's time to cut the thyme that's thyme and over there is rosemary we're going to harvest some of that get it in the dehydrator uh these were the uh, mexibel peppers i'm going to dehydrate them as well they are very hot but good so we're going to start i didn't grow a whole lot of this but i'm going to harvest what i got and we'll be back and this will be my first time doing doing uh, herbs so tell me if i do good all right Get over here. Hope y'all can see. I'm just gonna take it oh, about right in there. Because it may still have time to grow more. So we don't want to take it all. Just give it a good old haircut. And that's a good amount to start with. Now I'm gonna go over here, do the same, get some rosemary. We'll try to kind of keep them separate. Oh, that smells good. Give me some rosemary. Ooh, these are gonna be tough. Cheap scissors. Man, I gotta find something else. There goes that a little bit. Smells so good. All right, let's take this in, get busy. All right, here's what we got to start with. Now the bell peppers, uh, I will be freezing them. I'll show you how I do that. Uh, and then we're gonna vacuum seal those. But these peppers, rosemary and thyme, we're gonna dehydrate and I'm gonna make spices out of them. So these are the Mexibel pretty small I imagine they probably get a little bigger but they didn't in my container so but I tell you what those are hot then we got serranos and cayennes now these they're all mixed up in here I'll have to separate them as I uh, go to dehydrate them quite a few in there and I'm done with peppers man I don't need any more and these are the Pablo Ancho peppers so all the peppers I want to dehydrate uh, as well as the rosemary and thyme so I'm gonna get the dehydrator first thing we need to do is wash this pat it dry uh, let it let it air dry for a while it's gonna be an all-day process so this ain't a video I'm making that will be up tonight <laughs> it'll take a couple of days so or maybe not I think 12 hours of dehydration should do it for most of these so anyway, let's get busy. Uh, let me get this stuff separated because I don't want to mix the rosemary in thyme. And I've got, this is the rosemary over here in the thyme here. It's nice and, you know, about this time of year is what you, when you want to harvest that stuff. All right, man, let's get busy. All right, I've just got it in the holy bowl. That's the holy bowl. And I'm just gonna rinse it. Try not to be too rough with it. rinsed it once so I think those be sufficient for now and I'm gonna get a second holy bowl actually 
that's probably cut this in pieces. And then we're gonna take that out of there. We don't want rosemary juice mixing with thyme juice. It's just no time for that, man. What you think? And generally, you don't have to worry about bugs being on this stuff. They don't like it. But, who knows what else. The pine needles got mixed in with it. Whatever. And I'm going to give that a quick rinse. I don't mind getting a little dirt from the earth in my belly. Good for you. Alright. Yeah, we're going to let that dry for a little while. I'm going to get a towel and pat it down. Alright. Got this thing washed. The Drew said he loaned me this. He said he last thing he did was mushrooms and he didn't know if he washed it. I don't know what kind of mushrooms he used, but I went ahead and washed it. I think I watched that video, edible kind. So let's just spread these dudes out on here. Get over get over here. And I did find some pine needles in here. I don't want that in my uh, food. I'll try to get most of this on one layer. I think this only has, well, it has four layers. Uh, let's see. This is the time. And it's the time to put it on, you know. I'm just putting the sprigs and all on here. We'll uh, break that off later. Some people leave them on, make tea out of it, whatever. I'm not a tea person, unless it's iced tea. See there, we got a pine needle. Don't want no daggum pine needles. That's why I'm leaving them whole so I can pick them out later. All right, that's the uh, time. Get out of there, holy God. Let's see if we can get that all in there. Well, I never. What in the name of parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme is going on here? All right. That looks good to me. Now, we're gonna do the same thing to Miss Rosemary. Ooh, that stuff smells good. Yeah, it's dehydrated, it'll dehydrate it all, doesn't matter. Now, this has been growing all summer. Made it through all the heat. I'm just wondering though, if I dehydrate these all together, if it's gonna affect the taste of the peppers. I would think it would only make them better. I don't know about you. All right, let's just start randomly placing these peppers. All of them, stems and all. As many on there as we can get. Probably need to keep these spaced apart. Get in there, Mr. Pablo, or uh, Mexabelle. I am a beginner, so whatever, don't take this as a how-to video. We're just going to did it and see how she comes out. That's what we're going to do. Probably doing it all kinds of wrong. Going to get all kinds of comments. But you know what? It's going to be fun to see. As long as I can crush the peppers up in the powder, well, then I ain't done nothing wrong. Now, right, let's start another layer. What is going on here? These will obviously have to go on the top. All right. I need to get to these cayennes. Those are the important ones. Yeah. 
Now I have vacuum sealed a bunch of these uh, without dehydrating them. So I believe, you know, if I want to dehydrate them later, I can always take them out of the freezer and dehydrate them. I would see why not. Might lose a little bit of the flavor, but I don't know. Get on there, Mr. Sabrano. There wasn't a whole lot of those cayennes. Some of these I just may crush all up together, make a spicy, you know, spice out of them. A spicy spice. Sounds like a, sounds like a boy band. Spicy spice. I'll be just the huckleberry to start that band. All right, I believe I got room for more. We don't want to run this thing all day and not have I'll have it full. That may not fit when I put the lid on. This be good, good spices for my chilies. I like chili. Let's consolidate. Oh, look at that one! Ain't he cute? All right, rest of them I'll probably vacuum seal. All right, where's the lid? Now this, like I said, Drew loaned me this one because I broke mine. So I don't know. Yeah, these peppers ain't gonna work, and I'm not gonna cut them up. That means I can probably get a few more serranos in there. It doesn't have a, a temperature control timer, it just has an on switch, so I'll have to, I figure 12 hours ought to do the trick. As long as it dehydrates. Alright, I say that'll do good. Just put the old lid on. I did might have got a little water in there. I, I guess that actually removes, but if you don't see this video, you know I fried. And well, that's gonna be nice to listen to all day. Alright guys, I've sliced up bell peppers. Now you can slice them as thin as you want them like I do up here or you know cut them into quarters these weren't real big bell peppers uh, it doesn't matter if you want to use you know I'm thinking well I'll freeze a bunch of these this size if I need them smaller which I probably will I'll dice them up after they thaw out but I'm going to vacuum seal these but before you do that I'm putting them slicing them I'm going to put them on a tray you try not to really want them touching each other if it does a little bit it won't matter and you put them in the freezer for an hour and a half to two hours pull them out and they're ready to uh, vacuum seal. And I froze a whole lot of them this year doing doing this method because they don't keep forever. They'll keep a while fresh, but how many times you can have a meal? You're going to put a whole. You, you just can't possibly eat all of them that you that you get. And remember, if you got chickens, save this parts. That is their favorites. They all got little seeds in there. These are really good for the chickens, and that's their very favorite next to tomatoes. Got your favorite here, Waddles. And I even put a little thing of uh, rosemary and thyme. Let's see if they like that. What you going for? Yeah, you always go for the seed pods. Look at that boy. They just get nuts on me. Get down here with you, boys. Yep, they love bell pepper tops. The weather's been weird, man. We're we're it's gonna be a hundred degrees today, and. Uh, they were, it, we had cool mornings and they had started eating the corn that's in the scratch, uh, but they quit eating it again. That's good because corn makes chickens hot. 
So you don't want to give them corn in the summer, but usually they won't, a chicken won't eat it. Okay, they use, generally will not eat corn in the summer because they know that. But the wild birds will come in, clean up the corn. So it doesn't go to waste. Uh, I only give them uh, just a small amount of scratch in the morning. They can eat the sunflower seeds or whatever and the rest of the stuff out of it. So it's getting warm. These guys are fixing to go in, get out of the sun. All right. All right, guys, excuse the noise of the dehydrator, but I'm going to show you these have been in there about an hour and a half. They're good and frozen. And I've got my food saver here. And for those of you that have never had one of these, man, they are cool. So I'm going to just show you real fast how to use it. And I don't have any good scissors, so I use my sharp chef knife. But it comes in these rolls like this. And you just cut off whatever size you need. Make sure it's kind of straight. I'll show you why. And you simply push the buttons on the side and lift this up. You're going to take one of the straight edges. Let's, let's do this somewhat crooked one. And you're going to put this edge just slightly over this. Okay. And then you're going to hold it. Lock both sides down. Then you're going to hit seal. Now it takes a few seconds here. And that light will flash and when it goes solid, that means that side of the bag is sealed. And the dehydrator is not as loud as it appears. It just is on video. Okay, now we're going to lift it back out. As you can see, it heat sealed that. So now, if we come over here, a whole bunch of these peppers in here. Get back here, you. And that's probably enough. Like if I'm making, I don't know, jelly or something. I'm, I'm very low on freezer space right now. Then you simply take it, lay it right over just this first side of the edge here. To get you down there, and again. Lock both sides down until you hear them click and hit vacuum. Look at that. Second and third down. Once it's done vacuuming, it will automatically seal the package. As you can see, it's flashing when that goes solid. It's done, man. That's it. Ain't no more to do. These are very handy if you're interested in one. That went solid. Look on my uh, Amazon influencer page. I've got it listed. Or you just go find it yourself. But do you click through my page. That gives me a little bit of commission. As you see, man, that thing is just... It takes all the air out. Let's do a smaller... Smaller bag. Again, I'm just going to put that right there. Box it down seal I'll put those little strips in this one and apologize about the ring light in the previous clips guys I didn't realize it was that close to the camera but I believe we will all live through it you, you, you can live through it man it's not that big of a deal all right now again we have another bag sealed I'm gonna put these thin ones in here Maybe for like when I make the Billy Beef and Swiss. These are the sizes I need. And let's throw a few more in there. Let's put that red one in there. Uh, all right, like I said, I'm uh, pretty low on freezer space. Okay. Hold that dude up in there like that. Oh. Vacuum. creaking noises. Wait for the light to go solid. There she is. Pop, pop. Woo -hoo. 
Looks like a weapon, man. Hard. Alright, guys. Come back later. Alright, guys. Well, the video went a little long, so we're going to make this a part we're going to make this a two-part series uh and as other things become uh as i start harvesting out of the rest of the garden uh i'll do videos uh i'll do them in between doing my builds uh but we got to get a lot of these things done i've got basil still i want to do we'll swing around we got some sage uh different kinds of basil and sage to do there's some eggplant still coming uh, them are some really tough plants because they've been through a lot and they don't look the best, but they're putting out. And I have cilantro in here. So, and then we have leeks that look like they're going to seed. Or they're all out of leeks. Those are leeks. These are chat. Or no, what are those things? I can't never remember, man. They're not chives. Well, they could be chives. I don't know. Yes, they are chives and uh maybe a little more of that rosemary we might just do it all so if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you subscribe give me a like give me a like i don't care but i hope uh like i said i, I this is my first year doing the dehydrating doing the herbs so tune in for the next video and we will see how everything turned out happy trails <laughs>